And boy, can you see the siren there, right? It's a... And they go, whoa, 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 whoa. You can just see the frequency there. This looks pretty cool if I go to the uh, pitch spectral view as well. So you can see the pitch of the siren. And it's not as easy to see the uh, harmonics here as it is to see over there in the spectral frequency display, but I'll go back to the spectral frequency display. So how do we deal with this? <laughs> kidding me. If that goes on during a concert, what are you going to do? Well, I'm here to tell you, you can't get rid of it all. You can't make it perfect, but you can do your best. And so I'm going to zoom in a bit on the frequencies here by right-clicking here in the time ruler, or in the frequency ruler, and zooming in a bit. But look at all those overtones. This is where um, it gets kind of tedious, but there is a, a paintbrush tool here. It's called the paintbrush selection tool, different than the paintbrush that you use, let's say, in Photoshop, but you in fact will paint with it, and you paint on the things you want to get rid of, like so. And the brush is kind of wide, and uh, kind of thick, and I think the keyboard shortcut is, oh, crap, what's it up? Uh, up, up, it's not going to work now. It's no, you can't do, I can't undo something that I've painted. I'll just click away here for a second. I forget the way to do the darn brush size. Uh. I feel kind of embarrassed about this. The size is here, but I thought those keyboard shortcut to do that. So I'll, I don't remember what it is, so I'll go to 15 instead. So I just controlled the size by dragging this number here and make the brush a little smaller. Could be a little bit. The yellow marker is making it look bigger than it really is. Let me drag it a little bigger, a little bigger now. There you go. So the yellow marker that you're seeing there is bigger than the brush itself. This little line inside it, that's the size of the brush. Now I want to select this frequency here. So I'll just drag, I'm just going to click and drag to select that. And I want to do another frequency here, but if I just click and drag again, it's going to replace what I've done. So hold on the shift key now and click and drag on that to get the harmonic. So, and do the same thing here. Hold on the shift key and get that harmonic there. If I go too fast, it's not going to be very dark, so I need to make it dark enough to really select that. So I click again and fill in the areas that are kind of light. I get this harmonic up here. This one here, shift key again, grabbing all these guys. And, I mean, you know, who knows? And the fact that I've got those frequencies there is we'll probably duplicate those frequencies there, so I probably don't need to select them. Well, let's just see what happens here. I'm going to go to my effects, go to no introduction, go to sound remover, and learn the sound model. And there goes that, uh, that dual display again, which works great, I think. Um, for most purposes, but for my purposes, it means that it has to slow things down. So I'm going to again, I'm going to close it down again, like that. And we're going to listen to that for a second. So you can see that it's still coming in. And it came in where I didn't draw as carefully. That's one reason why. So I'm going to do this again by pulling on the shift key and painting some more there. So I need to really paint that darker, I think. That's. Tell that again. Okay, and then I'm going to do a preset over here to Siren. More artifacts, fewer artifacts, this less could be fewer. Look at artifacts, there's extra little things in it. I'll try that. We'll try the more artifacts. It's working right now. So if, if you're not impressed by that, wow. So I'm going to go beyond the edge here that I've marked. No, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, no, that's not what I'm going to do. Right there. I want to go beyond this area that I've selected here and see what happens when I go beyond it. So I'm going to say apply. And it just, it just, I think it just did it for that section. So I'm going to go back to the notion mover and do it for the whole thing this time. We've already got our model selected. You apply it to the whole thing again. It's showing, it's showing the preview again, and you can see that it takes a little longer when the other preview is showing. But we'll try that now. Is that amazing? That's the thing where blah, 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 like that, and that's gone too. So, if you're not impressed by the sound remover, 
nothing in the world impresses you anymore because that's pretty amazing that it removed that siren and comes out that clean. And it's just, just mind-boggling from my point of view. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeff Sangstack, an Adobe Certified Expert and the Lead Instructor here at BlueFX.net. If you want to watch this entire video lesson, as well as other live classes and After Effects crash courses, then I invite you to check out the BlueFX After Effects Academy. Just click the link below this video to find out what we've prepared for you in the After Effects Academy.